What's up you guys? Good evening. Yeah, it's uh it's almost night time. So um, before this video starts, well first off I want to welcome all the new subscribers. I think since the last video we've gotten like almost 40 new subs so you guys appreciate you guys following the adventure that we're on and um, we're in a bit of a transitioning phase here because I've been talking about uh, moving in the last couple videos which is going to definitely help out the progress of this build because it's been taking way too long if you ask me and I know you guys have been impatient because I've been seeing a lot of comments about posting my uh, RB build and also uh, my skyline so we've, we've been working on my cousin's car a lot just because it's accessible where he's at and right now I'm in an apartments with a small garage but yeah that's definitely gonna change suit So if you remember way back in the videos, um, I was about to mount my turbo side and unfortunately I broke a stud, an exhaust stud and RBs, I don't know if you know the SR platforms are the same, um, but from my understanding just Nissan motors in general, the exhaust studs are literally like butter, like they will break so easily. So I accidentally torqued down this one right here way too tight and then it was weird because it was literally just hand tight with a ratchet so I don't know how I did it but I broke it and I broke a second one too so long story short those have been extracted if you follow us on Instagram you would have seen a picture uploaded about that so I fixed those and hopefully I don't break anymore but now I have the, the right tools to actually extract the bolt if I need to so uh, my plan for uh, this is hopefully get this all plumbed uh, before I move, which I'm moving in 14 days, so two weeks. And I have two weeks basically to get all of this mess uh, out of this garage, not including my actual apartment. But I am moving it to a storage for the meantime, just so that, because my girlfriend and I haven't found the exact place we want. Um, I'm a little picky when it comes to, not necessarily the actual, house but the garage and the driveway which um, all you gearheads yeah I think you'll understand where I'm coming from having a nice long flat driveway is pretty much what I'm looking for and it's pretty hard to find which is really weird so so the video that I am uploading um, it's actually a, a lost files video um, I had put a uh, test pipe into the my R32. As far as the after, like the before and after, it really wasn't that big of a difference. So I kind of just forgot about it and never uploaded it. So I'm gonna upload that right now. And, oh, and uh, good news, while this whole transition period is happening, I'm actually moving the S13 over to my cousin's place and we can actually start working on it. So I'm gonna get the engine bay ready uh, I have I ordered the final parts of my uh, angle kit, and that's coming in pretty soon from Njuku. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, this next clip is kind of going back in time, and um, so you can see the install of my test pipe. What's up you guys? We are here at the shop with this bading here. <laughs> We're about to install my test pipe. Yeah. Get my test pipe going. It's about to be hella loud, boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the mic on this really sucks. Really? Yeah, that's why I wish I had my actual camera, but. All right, so um, got my test pipe in and um, we're gonna throw that on. I have a, um, I gotta check and see what exhaust I have because I have two mufflers with my cat still. Stock everything else, so stock downpipe, uh, stock elbow. 
So I'm just gonna throw that test pipe on and see the difference. It should be a lot louder. We're doing an iPhone vlog right now. <laughs> you really can though. Yeah. Oh, dang it, we need a bigger one. Is he even recording? Bro, bro, are you serious? Bro. <laughs> yeah, this is done. Time to get this shit off. I can stop that now. That's enough of that same shit. What? 20 bucks? Yeah. Well, 22 shipped. What you know? There we go. Now, boom, let's go. Did you drop something? What's that? You dropped this washer right here. Uh, so anyways, guys, you guys want to see this freaking test pipe? Let's see Buddy's test pipe right here. Let's do like a... Son, that's what's up. So, anyways, here you go. All right, so everything's up, and I uh, just put the four bolts back. This right here is for the uh, heat shield, which I'm not running, so I'm just gonna leave that blank and go. I'm gonna leave the uninstalled, and right here is a 13. And so, just make sure you tighten this down. See if no exhaust leaks. So obviously you guys, when you put this, make sure you have all the bolts in there pretty loose first. That way everything kind of lines up. This actually lined up uh, nice. So I'm gonna tighten this down and then we'll go check and see how it sounds. Hopefully it doesn't sound like shit. So test pipe is in, dropping her down. Looking pretty shiny. Ah, oh, moment of truth. Moment of truth. That's, that's good. That's good, bro. Move the blocks. Yeah. Let me uh get Are you driving it back? So, like I 
like I said, there wasn't really too much of a difference from the before and after on the test pipe. It, it got a little bit louder after driving it for a little bit, but yeah, it wasn't really, I don't think, I don't know if it's just because my exhaust is already free flowing. I don't know, it still sounds good and maybe just a tad bit louder, but nothing, you know, drastic. And before I end the video here, uh, I did want to recognize a couple channels. Um, you know, got to give the, the small channel support here on YouTube. But my friend Brandon, uh, I've, sh I've shouted him out before, uh, but his channel has been growing. Congratulations on a thousand, Brandon. And um, yeah, he has a clean S13. He, had a, he has an SR20 red top that he swapped over from an older chassis. Uh, or no, it was an, it was an S13, but from one S13 chassis to another, and he's doing that build right now. So if you guys want somebody else to watch, definitely check him out. Also, if I have any Honda fans out there, um, I do have a, a buddy named Bo. He actually has a, a brand new channel. Uh, it's called Riggs Motorsport. I'll also link that down below. And um, yeah, check him out. Cool guy. Good content. But anyways. Thanks again guys for tuning in and um, again thank you to the new subscribers as well as the OGs. I appreciate you guys. Um, honestly this, if it wasn't for you guys I wouldn't be as excited to do this every single day. So I love your feedback, I love your comments, I love that you guys are um, eager to, to watch these videos. So thanks to you guys and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.